well so you guys can see the differences in those two between this and the rest of 4x4. I don't think I ever did that in any video actually. Bye. And of course the Haas did go down in price at the time of this video. It was $4.79. It is now $4.49. So it is a little bit cheaper. Ah, uh, I was trying not to do that. <laughs> I think it'll still be fine. One thing it does have, which is good, is kind of protection on top, but I won't be doing any more of those. <laughs> we got the one in and we're good. I really just wanted to get this out and run this with this orange body on. I said, I might as well shoot a video real quick while I'm out here. Got a couple of minutes. You guys are like me, you like just seeing RC cars run. And you like running them, so. So when I do my versus battle, the Hoss will have kind of an advantage that it's got upgraded shocks on it. But other than that, it'll be basically stock. It does have, in my opinion, some of the best ready to run. See, I can do that on grass. Um, some of the best ready to run tires that are coming on a uh, monster truck, a 10 scale monster truck, these sledgehammers. And in case you guys didn't know, the sledgehammer was the actual name of an RC truck, two wheel drive truck that Traxxas had in the 80s. It was a big old monster truck and it was a Willie monster too. I think it had uh, eight shocks on there as well. Uh, white tub chassis. I thought maybe do a, a throwback Thursday. I haven't been doing those in a while. Maybe do a throwback Thursday on that truck because it was a pretty cool truck. I never had one. I had the Hawk, the Hawk 2, the uh, Eagle, the Blue Eagle, the Radicator, the Rad 2. Um, what else did I have from Traxxas? And I had a Bullet. I had a Bullet as well. So I had all those cars back in the day. I don't even remember how I got them all. Um, I can't remember how I bought all those trucks. My grandmother was buying them for me, and I don't know, y'all. When I think back to it, I'm like, how did I have all that RC car stuff back in the day? I rake leaves for extra money, but raking leaves wouldn't bring an RC car money in. I have to do a history video, I guess, of how I got started in the RC cars. I'm waiting for this car to go. I want to race them. <laughs> um, how I got started and the cars I've had over the years because I've been in the RC cars since the 80s y'all and I was in it when they had mechanical speed controllers and you needed two servos and you're running uh, NICAD batteries had about five or six of them and they were like 1,200 milliamp batteries brush motors and all that stuff. Like brush 540 motors and they were 27 turn and when Trinity came out with some brushed motors that were lower turn and all that, we were all on it. So it was, it was a different time. It really was. It was a different and interesting time. And I still remember the first time I saw some nitro cars run. Nitro on road, man. Those cars were rolling. I still remember it in my, in my mind. I remember how me and my brother were just, we were like uh, two schoolgirls out there just screaming around. I mean, it was just, it was just amazing to us to see those nitro cars running. And they were eight scale and they were fast. So I'm yapping right in my mouth and driving this horse and enjoying this um do one little small jump before we end this video there we go as long as i'm going concrete like that we're good down here <laughs> scrape to scratch my body all up so all right that's gonna be a run of this i wanted to get this out and run this with this orange body on it because i love the way this this orange looks on there and of course i got green gtr shots i have a green body at home but i want to get this out run this so you guys stay tuned for some of them versus videos kind of coming up or comparisons videos uh, coming up between this and other cars and trucks that are out there as well. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, so you do more videos. Thanks for watching.